For this vibrato exercise, um, we're going to be using what's called an egg shaker. And you can use an egg just like this. This is actually an Easter egg. Um, or you can buy specific vibrato egg shakers. You can use any kind of musical specific egg shakers. Or you can use a Tic Tac box. So if you go to the grocery store and you get some Tic Tacs, um, don't eat all of them. Leave some of them in there and use the box and it'll work really, really well. The egg shape is typically for most people the most comfortable and there's many variations out there, like I said, so any of these work fine. I got a bunch of these Easter eggs the day after Easter and they were on mega clearance, so you can make a bunch of these for dirt, dirt cheap. And all you do is you just fill it with a little bit of rice so that it makes some noise when you shake it. And just to be safe, I actually glued these shut so that in case we're doing a vibrato exercise and it breaks open, that rice will not go inside everyone's instrument. But if you would like a quick, cheap DIY egg shaker, um, I'd recommend just grab one out of your Easter egg stash, um, not the jumbo ones, but one that it will fit easily in the palm of your hand. Throw a little bit of uncooked rice in there, glue it shut, and you're good to go. All right, so this is how you do it. You have <clears throat> you have your instrument up as if you're about to play, and you're going to put your egg shaker in your left hand. So I'm going to start this with a first finger of a brano. So I'm going to place my first finger down on the string. I'm going to make sure my thumb is nice and relaxed and that my wrist is nice and straight still. And I'm going to start doing some vibrato. Now, when I do vibrato, you can hear a little bit of the rice shaking around. And you don't want it to be sounding really, really fast. Otherwise, that means you have a very tight vibrato, and that's not going to be a, a very nice sound. So you just want to hear that the rice is actually moving and it's going in a fluid motion. So if you listen, it's a pretty consistent motion then. You just hear it kind of tapping up against the sides of the egg inside. It's not really, really aggressive like that. Okay, it's just a nice, gentle little motion. And you can do this with any instrument. You just want that nice, gentle swishing of the rice that's happening inside. Nothing crazy, crazy. Now, it's possible to do this and not have it move at all. But typically with that, if you were to remove the egg, place your bow on the string and play that note, the vibrato is not going to be a strong enough vibrato to make a beautiful sound. You'll hear some movement in the note and in the pitch, but it's not going to be a very full, beautiful vibrato. So that beautiful vibrato sound is going to be indicated by just a little bit of motion from the rice. 